All right, guys, we're pulling into I-A-E-G-E-R. How would you pronounce that? Well, you're cheating. If now. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Ager. Ager. I used to see it in the Bluefield Daily Telegraph for sports and stuff, and I, I read that when I was a kid. I knew Jaeger. Well, well I just blew it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I knew that Jaeger existed, and I still called it Iager. Iager, and I yeah. Thought, like, where's this Iager at? I didn't pronounce it. And, and it took me years to put the two together that, oh, that's Jaeger. Okay, yeah. So, that's Jaeger. So that's Jaeger. Bridge right here. This is neat. It's so decrepit that it's, it's terrifying. I would not. Um, walk across that, would you? Um, no. We get this off here. We'll pause for a second. Um, oh. no, I wouldn't even walk across that thing. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, this thing's obviously very old, and it's still standing. Thank God. But you know how what happens? A lot of times we'll come up and then be gone. Yeah. yeah so you that's just true. never know. And it used to be an old mining company's bridge because you can see right oh, okay. there. You see to the right. There's a little bit of a sign. It's kind of covered up. It says some kind of ridge mining. Yeah. Something. Ridge yeah. mining, gale, something. Yeah. But yeah, I tell you one thing. I wouldn't drive across there as a coal truck. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, my goodness. No, like I said, I wouldn't walk across it now. No. This looks like something out of, you know, uh, Indiana Jones or something. Yeah, it does. Well, let's, uh, hopefully somebody knows some more about it. Though. I'd love to know yeah. this bridge, if, if any dealings with it. But yeah. let's get on down the road and see what else we can see in Jaeger. All right, let's get on down that road. Yeah. Okay, we, by the miracle of editing, we are way closer to Jaeger. Yes. So, around this bend, we should be able to show you a few more sights and sounds yes lack of a better word yes please watch the road shane <laughs> i'm trying to look at myself the camera i'm just kidding it didn't even know me. <sighs> nothing would surprise you any less now <laughs> oh i had to give you a hard time it's true you ever been to jaeger i have not have you yes i've been here several times actually really yeah. and so i guess you know a lot about jaeger huh well, i know fair amount yeah so would you say that you're a jaeger meister no, I'm right. but on bum, bum. I'm, I'm you're getting out right here i'm putting you on the side <laughs> of the road in jaeger west virginia and hope no you can hitchhike your way back home no my mama would kill you well, that's the only thing saving you right now yeah the only thing respect for her and fear fear <laughs> fear of her fear and respect mostly <laughs> fear i've met your mom yeah. All right. So this seems a bigger town than some of the other ones. It seems bigger than Bradshaw for sure, Jolo. It does seem bigger, but I guess the population's about the same. You said three hundred and some, right? Yeah. 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 And I think they showed that the census for the coming one. It's like two hundred forty people or something, and hmm. it seems bigger than that. And it has a little bit more on the ball as far as commercial stuff because we're about to see. There's a Dollar General. There's a uh, and there's a sign for Jaeger. Yeah. And there's a uh, bank around here. It's pretty nice. It's, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. On your bank. It's a big bank. It was kind of yeah. um, surprising. Calvary Baptist Church. And here's the Pioneer Community bank. bank. That thing is huge. And there was a post office beside of it. It's funny. The post office is like an eighth of, a size of the size of the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Up on the hill here, I just saw Christ Cathedral. I'm not sure what they do there, but... Pretty drive through here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leaves don't seem to be as changed through here as more in the mountains. True. I don't know why that would be, but it is the time of the year for yeah. them to do that. And here's another, even better, welcome to Jaeger sign. Welcome to Jaeger. Jaeger's more, I'm trying to think, it's, I think it's pretty much in the northern part of McDowell County. Yeah. Does that make sense? It would seem that way. Yeah. From the way that we've come. Yeah, I think it's good. when you get up here, you're getting a little bit closer to uh, Mingo County, some of that stuff. Yes. You are more up tune. I don't know. Is that a word? Anyways, you are... Uh, better with the local geography than what I am, the counties and all that, so well, thank you. I'll uh, trust you. How about my driving? That I don't trust. <laughs> there's the Jaeger Pharmacy. Yes. Yeah, there's a little bit more of a downtown area we're heading into. We'll turn down through there momentarily. 
Fanning Funeral Home. There's a little uh, caboose on the side of the road here on the right, I guess. There's a police station yeah. on the side of the caboose. Yeah, please. That is a very tiny police station. Got a little truck up here selling shirts. Uh, it's like some cute stuff there. Okay. So it looks like we make a left to go to downtown. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe the old town is to the right, which is interesting. Just yeah, seeing some around. old old buildings kind of run down just from the back side of it. Yeah, we'll run down in to shoot your words you said run down we'll run down in here to the, <laughs> see it and uh the loops back if you'll see right up here we make a right and we loop right back around there but they got a really nice yeah. court outlaw lodge outlaw lodge so here we go This is, like I said, the new little activity area, which is great. Uh, again, you got to give something for young people to uh, yes. enjoy. So they got a little basketball court, a little playground. Playground. VFW you can see post. Friendly. Yeah, they are. Here's the Main Street part. So we got the VFW post, and then it's another older abandoned building. Yeah. Apparently abandoned. Not maybe the bottom. Sometimes you'll they'll use the bottom storefront to abandon the top, but yeah. I think it's this is much pretty much all gone. It looks like. Um, it looks like that building. Uh, I can't tell actually. I was gonna. There's a whole fire truck. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Jaeger City Hall, to the right. Yeah, Jaeger City Hall. They still have a mayor, and it's uh, still a uh, thriving town to some degree. I mean, population-wise not, but right. still have the things going on, activities and so forth. There's an old another Sinamco building. It used to be a post office. Yep. And um, fire department on the right and a church. Yeah. Barbershop on the left. I love the old barbershop. Montgomery Ward Catalog Sales Agency. Pretty neat. It shows how the town used to be thriving there. Oh, I would shoot me up there and steal that sign so fast it'd make your head spin. I love it. <laughs> I remember that stuff from when I was a kid. There's another gigantic Sonamco building. I don't know that it... We just passed Little Sparrow Ministries, too. Let's see. You can tell the town was once bustling. That's oh, yeah. Sure. It was, and it just continues first, to drop population-wise, unfortunately. Yeah. First National Bank there to the right, and then... Industrial News. Looks like maybe it's gone, too, because mm -hmm. of busted glass. You got hardware, electrical, plumbing. Another Sonamco? Is that how you say it? Sonamco? So. Up on the hill, straight ahead, you can see the church at the top mm -hmm. and some houses. Some houses, and, and then we got this building across the road there. I don't know what that was. It looks like it could have been an old hotel or something. Huh? Mm, I was thinking maybe old bank or old something. Old bank, yeah, could have been. I just I don't want to. I'm, I'm, I'm speculating, and I said yeah. I don't want to, but I am. I like to speculate, Shane. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> you came with the wrong guy, right guy then. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the last time I was here, they've dropped a few businesses even since then. So it's kind of sad to see because yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a restaurant down here and a couple other things at one time. Mm -hmm. I saw like Old Deli, I guess. It said like hamburger, hot dogs on the window. Yeah. That did not look like it was still running though. Yeah, yeah it's sad just, to see. Yeah, it's not quite the population to keep this stuff up. So mm -mm. what are you going to do? And smile because we are on radar, well. I see. There's an accounting office. Mm -hmm. Wanted to show that empty chair too for the POWMIA. That's kind of a, I always like seeing that kind of stuff. Show some respect. Yeah. We're outside the VFW office. And you see those popping up to remember folks who are missing. Yes. And are, they're not here, but they're not forgotten. Absolutely. So right here is the sign for the Lewis camp. Uh, Major Andrew Lewis in February of 1756 with troops on the way to attack Indians. Yeah. He had stopped here. Try to show you that sign real quick, boy. Yes. 
It's right there beside the little country church. Right there. So it looks like they ran into some bitter cold and a food shortage as well and didn't have good outcome here. No. Um, we read about Andrew Lewis in Point Pleasant. So. Yeah, it's funny. There's a stretch of highway through Roanoke named after him too. Mm -hmm. And I always thought about it. The reason I remember all that stuff is there was actually a boxer at one time called Andrew Six Heads Lewis. I thought that's a cool name. <laughs> I thought that name sounded familiar. <laughs> Somebody, he said uh, he was such a hard puncher. I'm getting on a tangent, but he's, he's such a hard puncher that they went, after he hit him, he saw Six Heads after that. But Little Sparrow Ministries up in that old building. Yeah, back at that, um, Back of the fork in the road there was also a branch of the library and a little trailer there too so it's nice that they have another little library here so i like the afford people the opportunity to educate yourselves and yeah you know and that's all you can ask for is the opportunity yeah now this is the school we'll stop here and take a little bit closer look yes pretty interesting indeed a graded and junior high school Get up there. Alright, so I'm out here what used to be the Yeager Intermediate School, according to the sign on the door. Obviously no longer in use, but a good thing to see. Looks like a door is open. I don't think I'll be going in, but gives you an idea of the level of deterioration. And you can see here on the sign at the front of the door, 1922. Jaeger graded in junior high. I'll cross the road to give you a little bit better shot of it. So you can see that was a huge school. Four stories. But no longer in use. I wanted to show you just a couple more sites of Jaeger here. This is a bridge right across the road from the elementary school, and then we'll show you the elementary school. Looks like a so good here. train bridge, huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, directly in front of you, you'll see a Jaeger Elementary School, and this is another one. They're a nice new school. So. Yeah, it looks like a good little school. I'm glad to see that that is taken care of here because a lot of towns are getting lagged behind on this, honestly, with the buildings and facilities. So. Yeah, I, I see that coal seam there, too. Yeah, I don't like the... Uh, consolidation piece like we've discussed but if you're going to consolidate at least give us a good school right? yeah exactly all right let's get on down the road what do you say let's get on down the road okay guys we hope you enjoyed this look at jaeger west virginia yes if you like this give us the thumbs up subscribe comment share it you know the drill and a special thanks to our patrons and financial supporters because this trip would have absolutely not happened without your support so absolutely we appreciate you more than you ever know thanks guys we'll see you on down the road